What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a glitch effect in After Effects. So we're in After Effects and the first thing you want to do is come over to Composition and select New Composition. Now you want to do this twice, so this is the first one, then Composition, New Composition and this is the second one. Now the next thing we're going to do is head over to the Rectangle tool and just change your fill to white and then just draw over loads of these little thin masks like so. Darling. So now that is done, we can head over to the next composition. Now in this one, what we're going to do the exact same thing, except this time it's going to be thicker ones like so. So the next thing we're going to do from here is come back to the footage that we already have. And now I'm using Whit Lowry's music video from the song known as Numb. Now from here, what we're going to do is go to the compositions we have just created, which are up here. Now drag and drop them above the music video or whatever clip you're using and simply hide them. Now from there make sure you're selected on the video, then head over to effect, select distort and then select displacement map. Now what you're going to do where it says displacement map layer, you're going to select it and you're going to select comp 1. Now we're also going to select the animations for the max horizontal displace and the max vertical displacement and we're going to set these both to zero like so. Now head back over to your footage here and press U on your keyboard to bring up the keyframes. Now what we're going to do is simply move a little bit um, forward and I'm going to bring up the horizontal and the vertical like so. Then I'm going to move across again, um, lay down the keyframes here, move across again and set these back to zero. Now we can press U on our keyboard to close out of the animation down there. And now what we're going to do is duplicate the displacement map. So select it and press Ctrl D and you can see it's duplicated. For the displacement map layer, select it and select Comp 2. Now again we can come back here, press U on our keyboard and you will see down here is the second one uh, that we just duplicated. Now what we're going to do is highlight all of these keyframes and we're going to drag this here. So where this one is about to stop, this one is going to start. So I'm going to just make sure I select them all. So then it's complete. So if I come across, you can see it's going to give the glitch effect. And then there we go, it's back to normal like so. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully it has been useful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace. What's going on guys? Casual Savage here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing... I'm not sure. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how 